Are you guilty of saving consumables for those hard boss fights only to beat the whole game hardly using any of them? Well, I can't fix you, but let's look at some consumables you could be using if you learn to let go. Let's start with the volcano pots. These are super cheap to craft with your biggest investment being the time it takes to get to Mount Gelmir so you can unlock them. They cost two volcanic stones each, which are abundant in this area. They deal great damage that scales with strength and dexterity, so it's a great option for melee players. It's fantastic for clearing out those giant hands in Carrier Manor, but be warned it doesn't work on these monstrosities. Another one that's somewhat easy to make are freeze pots, which require rhymed crystal buds. You can get the recipe at the very beginning of Carrier Manor, but you'll need access to consecrated snowfields for the best farming location near Ordina. These are a well-known counter to Melania's waterfowl attack. Unless a target has high frost resistance, this will likely trigger frostbite in one throw, which will increase your damage to them by 20%. The uplifting aromatic is a great aura buff that provides a 10% damage bonus and prevents 90% damage for one hit to you and nearby allies. It's not the cheapest to make though with four ingredients, Altus Bloom, Budding Cave Moss, Silver Tear Husk, and an Arteria Leaf. However, if you put this on your bar while summoning your Mimic tier, it will buff you without consuming the aromatic. Granted, my Mimic was too focused on getting himself killed four out of the five attempts I tried testing this. You can find this at the Perfumer's Ruins between Altus and Mount Gelmir. Lastly, grab the cookbook from Kale for the Holy Water Pots. These cost only a mushroom and a tarnished golden sunflower, the latter being abundantly available near Erd trees. These do 300% damage to undead, including the death birds. They also prevent skeletons from reviving themselves. I'm guilty of hoarding materials just as much as the next guy, but I'm determined to utilize some of these in the DLC.